In the previous tutorial, I've created the clip title in the clip title out template along with the format. In this tutorial, I will create a wipe for my clip title text. In order to do this, I will have to alter my text field, but I cannot do this from the normal object overview. I will have to go into the material. This is not available from the normal object specification, so I will have to go on the left and press the triangle in order to go to material. When I go to material, I get the players available. Of course, there is a text player, which will show up the text, but there is also a keying player available. For the keying player, I'm going to set up a gradient, and I'm going to set the gradient to an angle of 90 degrees. As you will see, my text will start to fade based on the keying, and what I will have to do now is go over to keying and change the mode from blend to test. Now I get another option available where I can use my test minimum and test maximum values in order to wipe my text. And I can do this from both sides based on the slider I'm using. The gradient also allows me to give a smooth edge to the side of my wipe. So if I start wiping from the edge and I set my soft minimum and soft maximum to a value of 2, you will see that at the end here it will start to fade so you don't have a hard cut on your test maximum value. For the soft minimum and soft maximum I'm currently using a value of 2. If I go bigger than a value of 2 you will see that the text will start to fade at the beginning already and if we don't want this then a value of 2 is the maximum value we can use or we'll have to animate the soft minimum and soft maximum in order to create the same result. Now that I've set this up the only thing left to do is animate this and to animate my wipe I will have to create keyframes for either my text maximum or text minimum value so let's say we'll do it for the test maximum in this case I will set the test maximum to zero and add a property keyframe instead of the normal keyframe from the timeline so I will go to the triangle next to my test maximum and say insert property keyframe and I will move up to, let's say, 10 frames and set my text maximum back to 255 and insert a new property keyframe. So now you will have a wiping text created and we can do the same thing for the other text field, of course. One of the advantages what the gradient allows you to do is to make different wipes. Currently my wipe is going from left to right but I could also set my wipe to go from top to bottom. If I reset my angle, it will go from top to bottom. So in this case I have more control over my wipe than just a linear wipe from left to right or right to left. 